Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Okay, today I'm a little bit different element here. I came to church to put some stuff together, so I was like, ooh, I could probably record in the classroom when nobody else is around. So I wanted to share today with you about how I homeschool my kids for free or nearly free. I can show you how you can do it for free and how you can do it for really inexpensive. And so what happened for me um, a long time ago when the economy all crashed down, my husband was working for the auto industry and he had lost his job and we needed to buy schooling materials for our kids and he lost the job. So one of the first things that goes is money for school curriculum. So I thought, how am I gonna school my kids this year? And so this was when the internet was just still kind of new, it was a long time ago. And so I started looking online and I found all these great resources. So I just started printing off page after page after page. And then that whole year, I was able to school my kids just by printing off like worksheets to do. And it was really, really good. I was very excited for that. And then the next year I went to do it because the next year we had the money to do it. And I was like, okay, should I buy it or should I just print off? And I'm like, you know, I'm gonna print off because what I found, I was buying the expensive curriculums to use, which are wonderful and they have great things, but we would get to like the math problems and then there would be like a hundred problems of the same problem. And I'd be like, they would be like, do we have to do all these? I understand this, I get this mom. And so we would skip a whole lot of extra problems. So I was finding myself skipping a lot of stuff that we would not normally do. And I was like, okay, this is just a waste of money. This is a waste of time. So I thought, I'm gonna go back to printing off the internet. Well, then I started looking online at things and then I realized that, wow, there wasn't the free papers like there were the year before. And so you had to like sign up here, click here, buy this, do this. You only had five pages per month, all these things. And I thought, oh, so in my head, I was like, if I ever do homeschool curriculum, I will just give it away for free. Well, fast forward two years later and I had the opportunity to sit down and write school curriculum for my kids. And that's why I'm gonna be able to give it to you for free. And so what I offer is you can go, it's not even offer, it's free. You can go over to my blog, plain and not so plain.com, and you can go click on my homeschooling resources, and you can go and find tons and tons of free school curriculum from your for your kindergartner through eighth grade. There are some high school resources, but I just don't have complete years things. What this does, this curriculum is not, let me tell you what it's not. It is not like super perfect set. I did this myself. I did not have somebody come in and edit it and do it. I'm just a mom doing it myself. And so when I've done it over the years with my kids, I've tried, if I found like I forgot a period or I didn't capitalize this or I missed this number or I did this, which is rare, but there are some typos and mistakes because I am human. I tried to like mark it on their school curriculum and then I kept those pages and then I went back and tried to fix them in the originals and then re-upload those so that the, everything was current. So we've pretty much got it down pretty good, but I'm sure that someone out there will go, wait a minute, I found a little error on this or error on that. So if you can put up with those little errors, then this will be the school curriculum for you. This is just based on the basics, reading, writing, and arithmetic. When we move to our current state now, I have to test my kids with a basic standardized testing. And so my kids take the CAT-5 test. It's the old school 1970 test, super simple, super easy. It covers the basics, what your kids need to know for the basics. When you do this school curriculum that I have for free, your kids will learn the basics. That's what you'll have them covered. That will be covered. So then what my suggestion is, is to go and go to your library and go get a bunch of free books, go get some free videos, look at some programs that they offer at your library that are free that your kids can sign up and do and do them. Fill it in with extra things like real living fiction books and ones that are on history and go get some good science videos and watch some good documentaries. All those things fill in. We even have, I know in our library they have like Spanish speaking courses that you can buy through the homeschooling catalogs um, and French ones and then there's just tons of science things. We have a great hands on science program at our libraries that my kids go to a couple times a month. She has art club once a week. We can go there and do art. Things that I don't, are not good at doing perfectly but they can go do something pretty neat. So let me show you what we have here from my blog. Okay so you can go to my blog plain and not so plain.com and you go down here and you click on your homeschooling resources and on my homeschooling resources here let me move this here you can go through and it has a little video here at the top and explains about my curriculum just what I told you it's not a perfect thing but it works and then you just click on there's first grade complete curriculum which is pretty much kindergarten or first grade into one I have a second grade math English and spelling I also have spelling for left-handed because I have a left-handed couple left-handed children and I realize how hard and everything is catered to the right hand I have third grade math English and reading comprehension um, spelling cursive spelling for left-handed fourth grade math fifth grade you can go through sixth grade I have seventh, which has pre-algebra. There's eighth, and I actually do have a ninth grade. I have ninth grade math, 
and English and writing. I did do the math, math answers. I don't for the rest of it because it's pretty self-explanatory going through and doing it yourself on these pages. I also have speed drills. I have writing prompts, cursive writing, copy work, and journaling. And what I recommend for the copyright and journaling is going through and you can print off these pages and I just cut them. I'll show you, they, you can see pictures on there. And where I just took, oops, there you go. I just took and I used a glue stick and just glued them to a, a notebook pa a page, like a three or the, the binder, you know, the, the 10 cent notebook thing you can get, paper, and then just glue it to the top and then your kids can write every single day. So I have resource for science curriculum that I use. Um, and I also have like, in Michigan, we had to, we didn't have to, to um, and do any sort of testing. So my kids just did, we did like a one room schoolhouse teaching and that worked for our family. And so what I have is, I call it remedial math, remedial English, and remedial thinking skills. And it covers everything they need to know up through fifth grade. So what we did, we actually used just that for our kids at one time. And I just taught the first grader a little bit less and the fifth grader a little bit more because like I tell everybody that homeschools, everything is a review up through fifth grade. You teach a little bit at the beginning, then you just teach a little bit more, a little bit more. And by fifth grade, they're reviewing everything anyways. So as long as you do a good class in fifth grade, your kids will be covered. Cause I know parents are like, oh, they're behind. Well, if you just taught fifth grade to your kids, they would learn everything they need to know up through those elementary years and the same thing through middle school as well. And so that's what I can do. So all you can have to do is click on this, click on one of these links and it'll come up in a PDF and then you just print it off. Now myself, I had an old school printer. It was the best printer ever. <laughs> Someone gave it to us. I got my ink for like $3 on like inkjet super supplies or whatever that is. And I was able to print off pages and pages. One time I got the big box ream of paper one year. You can look back at my old videos. I have a how I homeschooled my kids for free. You, I don't know how to link it up here, but I'll put it in the description below. And you can see how I printed these all off on paper. I got, I paid $15 for the big box of paper and printed off. I used two or three ink cartridges and it was awesome and then I just punched holes and put it in a binder that was awesome for me at the time so then what I fell into is it got a little bit newer in the day and age and everybody started getting the laser printers well then when you have a laser printer the ink cost way more because our printer finally died the last year and so we needed a regular printer so we got a new printer and then I realized the ink cartridge is so much and so it was costing me more to print it off than it was for me to put it together in a book form and sell it on Amazon so that's what I did so what I did you can go on to Amazon in this on my homeschooling page it has this scroll down a little bit more it has the um, complete year curriculum in a book form so you can go on my site and get them for free completely free download and get them Amazon I have to put them for a price they make me do that so, but these books right here are $25. This is a full year's curriculum. So at $25 for me, it's all put in order. You don't have to put it in order. Those, what I did is I had math, English, and reading. And I'd take one page of math, one page of English, one page of reading and put them together and then go back to math and have to do it yourself. That's great to do. If you got, don't have the money, do that. If you got a couple little extra bucks, it was cheaper for me to just buy the book. And so this has over, um, I think it's 600 pages, like 550 pages of school curriculum. And so what I did is I just took those pages and put it in here so that you have a um, four days a week schooling and it's for 35 weeks of school. And so this is just one, this is eighth grade. So in the first part I tell you, it's enough schooling to do 35 weeks of schooling four times per week. And so that what it, and during this one you do four days of worksheet schooling. And then the rest I say, I recommend doing real life hands-on schooling, which is reading and different things you can do, home economic skills, all those kinds of things. So I have these all in book form this way. We also have them, this is, I just brought the other ones because it's the ones we have this year, fifth grade, same thing. And so you can look in the front, this is 36 weeks of schooling. And so what this will typically have, which you can do the same thing on the um, website. So it'll start off with, this is the first, let me open it up here. The first one is week one. So then it goes through like four days a week. Copy your words. These are all their spelling words. And then the next page they would do would be a math page. The next one would be an English page. And then the last page would have something to do with reading. So you'd have four pages. And then the next day, this is your spelling words in crossword puzzle. Math page, English page, and then a reading page. The third day you do writing sentences with your spelling. Math, English, and reading. The fourth day is your quiz. Math, English, and reading. And then I have, I started with the prepositions as well. So, and then it goes on to week two spelling list. So this is how pretty much all of them are broken up into. I know this is our first grade that one of my kids used this year. We ripped out all the pages as we did them. And so theirs is a little bit different. They have um, some writing. There's some copying words. 
Toss off the word that does not belong. And then a math page. And this book, the first grade book, that tell you at the top how many pages to do a day because sometimes it's like two pages a day. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's five. It just depends. I don't do it all the time because I don't believe in doing tons and tons of book work with kids at home. So this is how we do our books. So you can go school them completely for free but print them off. But if you can afford books, get some books. It's still way cheaper than a school curriculum you would buy. And I also on my site offer a free home ec course. So I wrote this out of the need for like teaching my kids home economic skills. It was just something that I'm like, you need to know how to cook, you need to know how to do these things. And there wasn't a whole lot out there. So I also wrote my own course and you can go on my blog, let me show you. And you can click on, I have a life skills for guys course, home economic skills and a home economic personal skills. So you just click on the home ec skills and here is a whole complete free online course. You click here to begin. It'll give you 60 hours of instruction, both online and lab work. And then when when you're done you can send me an email with your child's name and the date they completed and I'll send them a certificate a PDF certificate so this is the kitchen skills page you go through unit one you click on one there's all these different things that they cover and they have a hands-on skill each week this hands-on skill is using the blender so it goes through some lessons on safety and using the blender some things that you can, what are some different things you can make in a blender? And then they're gonna do hands-on lessons like recipes. So there's like chocolate monkey milkshake, smoothie, strawberry banana smoothie, um, all the pumpkin pie smoothies, all these different things. And I also have some tips for making smoothies, health and safety tips to observe before and after. And then put all you've learned from making this unit into action and make a smoothie. Then there was a quiz and assessment. So that, again, is free on there. There's one for guys, there's one for girls. The only reason I did it for girls and excluded the guys is because I wrote it for my oldest daughter originally. She was at home and I wanted to cater towards her, so a lot of it is using girls and speaking to them. And then I didn't have any girl boys to teach for a little bit, so then I started doing a one for guys, and so I called it more life skills. And so I did a life skills got one for guys. But for the girls, I have the kitchen skills, and then I did one on household and personal management skills. And then what I did, because again, not everybody wants to be hooked to a computer, you can go to my computer and get it for free. You can also get a PDF of the book um, all put together. The computer has more of it. The most pages is what's on the computer. I have way more of that's free. There's worksheets, there's quizzes, there's fun pages. All those are on the computer for free. You can download and use those. But I also put it in book form too for those of you that want book form. And so you can get a PDF of the course that doesn't include the quizzes or assessments and that, but that you can get on there on my blog. You can also go to Amazon and buy the books. So I have kitchen skills and household and personal skills as well. And I also have one that's an all-in-one book, but I just didn't have a book at home to show you. And that has devotions for girls as well, like based on character traits. And so this is the same thing. It's covering week one kitchen appliances and it goes through. Um, it's got cooking abbreviations. There's the food processor, it's got the blender, it's got different, just all written out for them to try those recipes. Recipes that our families have used for a long time and we really enjoy, it's covered in a lot of here. And so this is a great thing to do, covered first semester for your daughters. You can use it for your boys too, it just has more geared towards women, just the way I did it originally. And then I also have this one. So there's a book that has both of them in it on Amazon. It's green color, you can get that too. So, and I also have the life skills for guys on there as well too. So those are all ways you can do free. And then I recommend going to the library. I have tons of book list resources on here that we have used for different grades that we've enjoyed and my kids have enjoyed reading. Read, 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 read. The best thing you can do for your child is read to them. Get a great living book that you can sit down and read a chapter a day to them or two chapters a day and just get that storyline going so they're like, ooh, I can't wait till we sit and read together, mom. And so that is what I have for my homeschooling. There's tons of stuff online as well. This is just my site that I have it all on there in one place. And one thing that I have also for these books is I have answer keys for these because I had to justify them. Like if I'm going to charge people to do this, I need to get the answer keys for it. So you can go back to my blog and you can download a PDF of these books and you can get all the answers if you need them. They're pretty, pretty much easy, but not always. So, and then I also have a summer review. I didn't bring that book with me because my kids are doing it right now because it's summertime. But what I did is I pulled out the things that I felt were important that year for my kids to learn, like especially the first one and the second is reading. So we have reading lists to do and then we have like a math page and an English page and just fun things to do. They do three pages a day, super simple. You can go check that out on my blog as well. You can go on there and see what we have um, to offer and those you can buy on Amazon just for your kids to do something each day in the summer to keep them busy. 
I also have a homeschool Q&A series on my blog that explains the basics, things you can do that are hands-on, ways you can get about teaching, science, different methods, all those fun things that people usually have a question of how you homeschool. I have that on there as well. I have things what we do for science. I have a whole history school curriculum that we do for elementary as well as high school on there that you can get. I have tons of book lists. Book list, book list, book list. You can just Pinterest the book list. But I have ones that we have loved based on ages um, and each grade level. I have that. Um, I have our homeschool and journey. It goes back and um, I talk about how I planned my year, how I've schooled them for free for many, many years. I also did some um, homeschooling things that we did with our groups. One thing I did is I started a homeschool group in our community. Somebody asked me about this, so that's why I'm going to share. And she asked, how did you start? My librarian approached me and said, if you want to start a group, go ahead. Well, I was new here, didn't know anybody, and I'm like, you know what, let's do it. So I would go once a month to our local library, and at first I had one person. And her and I would go and we'd talk about homeschooling. I had topics covered, different things, and I basically did a video series on the topics that I covered. And so we would go and we'd talk about homeschooling. And then, you know, next week we'd talk about, you know, different books that we enjoyed reading or different we just had different topics to cover and so we had like another mom come then we had another mom come and then we had another one and so you can look through and see our homeschool parties we did homeschool parties once a month where we met together at the library and we had a valentine party and the, we brought crafts and snacks and the kids had a fun time and so that was just one way we started with one that was all we had for like half a year then we had a couple more come then a couple more came and then just as time went on we had more and more moms so don't be discouraged just keep with it as time goes on the momentum will keep going you'll get more and more people with your group so that's something that we did there's tons of free things you can do we did that very inexpensively we'd ask somebody to bring snacks sometimes and they did um, we did neat little crafts that didn't cost a whole lot of money you can see all those on there that we did for our group so that's something we've done just simple just start with something instead of doing nothing start with something it seems overwhelming but if you got one friend you can take with you take that friend and start discussing homeschooling topics keep it to that have a place for the kids to play we had my older daughter sat at the table and did crafts with the kids while the moms and i sat in a little corner for a library and talk so it just worked for us good that way so okay so i hope you enjoyed this, today's video of how i homeschool my children for free you can go back and see my other ones i'll link those below where i printed off all the pages did all that work and it was a lot of work but it was free and it was going to cost me paper and ink but now to make my life easier i just get these books and this works out good for 25 dollars. i'm like that's well worth the price for me to just here kids this is your book to do for the year this is yours and then we go through and like i said it's not like 100 pages of the same problem so i know right now i have a child struggling with fractions guess what we're doing working extra on fractions that's what you do if you have a child that doesn't know the multiplication you work extra on your multiplication facts you just kind of hone in you have to pay attention to what your kids know and what they don't know and help you know those skills and those things by working harder with them doing it so it's just but it's just this is just an easy way to help manage that and get a little bit because i think that homeschooling is so it can get overwhelming. You can look at all the stuff they have for free and then all the curriculums where you have to follow, 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 and you feel like you're doing school all day long. Yeah, that was me many, many times. And then I had so many babies, and I'm like, I can't do that. I have to make this basic. This has solved my issue of stress. We make it simple, and then we add more. So that's my biggest advice to you is make it simple. You're starting out homeschooling, great. Get one of these books, get the, the courses online, and start doing a couple pages a day. That's it and read some books. And then guess what? As you do it for a couple weeks and a couple months and you go, okay, we got more time in our day. Let's add some science in there. Let's go do some science experiments or let's learn about history together. Let's go do some of that. Let's go learn some nature things together. And that is how you build upon your schooling. Don't start off with 10,000 things because it's gonna stress you out and you're not gonna wanna do it and you're gonna wanna quit. Start out basic and simple, covering the basics that you need to teach your kids so that they learn. And then after that, okay, add more in, add more in. So. That's gonna be my biggest advice to anybody starting out that needs to make it easier. And then even those that have been doing it for years, where you find the stress, you know the stress. Make it simple. Basics, and then build upon the basics. So, okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video of how I homeschool my kids for free and how you can too, how to make it simple and easy. So, you guys enjoy your day and we will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.